As you know, quests are all the quests are, and in this field model, one of them, they don't uh, accept one and a quarter inch eyepieces. The eyepieces of them is actually turn, um, screwed ones, so you have to screw it into the base. So I try to get an adapter for that, and that adapter I will not be doing unboxing of it. In that way, I will be using to able to use such an eyepiece like this Teleview 24 millimeter Panoptic, your excellent eyepiece, and even a. Uh, some of the larger eyepieces like a uh, uh, Etus. Let's unbox this. So now I have opened the package. Let's see what is inside. It's called Questar Adapter. It was made by Teleview Visionary, Teleview Company. And that is AQE0005 number of the part. So let's see what is inside. Let's put this uh, packaging away. So let's see what is inside the box. Such a simple part, and it seems that many people actually need this. And uh, no more manufacturers like the Chinese one built this one yet. So I think there is a market if they have sold around 10,000, 20,000 of this. Definitely people need the adapter for that. So that's the pusher that the Teleview builds. Installation I use. Questor IPS adapter AQE0005. So the, you have to unscrew the stock thread Q-Star eyepiece adapter and place it with the Teleview adapter. So let's bring this adapter out and look how it is. Oh, okay. You can see it's such a tiny part. And it has one, one screw. I felt that it needs two screws, but there is a space for two, but it just gives you one. Let's see. What I think happened was that Al Nagler uh, has a quest star himself. He wanted, it's made of aluminium by the way, and he wanted to use his own eyepieces with this quest star, and he couldn't. So he built one. He ordered one to be built for him. Then he thought, oh, that's in something probably in many people need this and he ordered it also to be mass produced for for selling so nice thing to have the screw should have been actually had a stopper so it will not come out so this has came out now and the plug is a little bit stiff let me use both hands to take it out and the design is not the best I preferred it had a, a ring uh, compressor ring here it will this will scratch your eyepiece or pr putting a nylon uh, plastic adapter but anyway now this is what we have so we have to use it so let me bring the questor and see how we can do let's just take a few, to, few photographs of it so this is the Questor eyepiece holder. The eyepiece is from here, from the black side to the top. But the eyepiece holder is this one that I'm unscrewing and it's coming out. It came out and the eyepiece, Brandon eyepiece, which I believe is just nothing more than a uh, something like a fossil. Chinese fossil is better than this. No, I'm using this Teleview to screw it here. And with just this simple modification, I can now use a panoptic. Simple as that. We have now a panoptic on the Questor. And I can put a, let me see if I can put the ethos here. 
So panoptic 24 millimeter easily goes there. Now let's see if the ethos can stay there. That's much bigger eyepiece. Televiewer is 13 millimeter. Let's just see if I can put it there. Okay, now we are going to see the history being made. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And this Dapsonian mouth is strong enough to hold it in its place. That's a big improvement. Now we have the Ethos 13 on the Quest Star. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see how it looks. It's quite windy. And that causes the parts which are not in focus just come to the field of view. Thomas said the view is very sharp when it is in focus. And that was the view through the TeraView ethos. 13 millimeter eyepiece. I have now the TeraView Panoptic 24 millimeter and let's see how the view is through that. Yeah, really transformed the view. 30% more field of view than the Brandon 24mm. All the both of them are 24mm. I will use the Brandon now, just compare. Okay, that was the view to the Teleview Panoptic 24mm. Now we are back to the brand on 24mm and let's see how the view looks like. I must say the brand is very finicky, the field of view is narrow, the image is not very contrasty. I'll put the panoptic immediately just to show you how it is. Now we are looking through the panoptic 24mm. It's very windy and it's not very bright day, so the contrast in none of them was as good as I could see visually, but the camera is the problem, not the eyepiece. So that's beautiful, lovely result.